The UI Stead Family Children's Hospital is ranked 20th in the nation for its neonatology program, which focuses on medical care for premature and ill newborn infants. So the money is going to a place that knows how to put it to good use. I'm just so grateful. Corinthia Satterley remembers the day her daughter was born, nearly five months early. We didn't understand the grasp of what was really happening. We were in shock, like, okay, yeah, we're in labor now, but maybe we'll be okay. But then as the contractions got worse and worse and worse, we knew that we would we would be delivering. 22-week-year-old Aaliyah Irene was born only about the size of a dollar. She was a micro preemie, weighing around one pound. She's alive today. How does that happen? Satterley gives credit to her daughter's healthy life today to the University of Iowa doctors that helped keep Aaliyah fighting. In the past, when the membranes ruptured before 24 weeks, a lot of places would say that this is an inevitable loss and would not try, even try. And here we've published data showing that if you were willing to try, your survival could be up to 90%. And UI doctors give it their all with over 900 premature babies they see every year. One of the things that we do here is what's called high frequency ventilation, which is critical to protecting the tiny lungs of these babies. With the obstetricians willing to give steroids before 24 weeks, this greatly protects the baby's uh, developmental outcome. Over 100 days after her birth, Aaliyah now weighs about six pounds, healthy, beautiful, and giving her family a lot to be grateful for. Just the fact that they saved her life. It's moments like these that make her happy to see donations pouring into the place that gave her hope. But just knowing that there's people out there that care about these babies in this hospital and the research means so much to parents like us. The Set Family Children's Hospital premature survival rate for an infant at 22 weeks old is about 60 percent, which is 10 times higher than the national average. Covering the corridor in Iowa City, Gabriella Vidal, Fox 28 News.